Hello, hi and welcome to Tech Lab YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you another video how to install in VMware virtual machine. I'm going to install Windows Server 2022. I'm going to open the virtual machine. The version which I'm using right now, you can see the 10.0.1. Okay. The basic settings going to configure in VMware workstation I'm going to create a new virtual machine okay click on that and I'm going to select typical mode and click next and select disk image file ISO so I have the ISO file already in the E drive already I copied okay so this ISO file I'm going to select and then click next and select Microsoft Windows and the version is by default there is no um, 2022 so click next so here you can uh, enter the version the Windows Server 2022 and this is the location where you want to install the uh, files so by default the documents there is a virtual machine automatically create one folder while install the virtual machine in your system okay I'm going to select the by default location and click OK if you want uh, change the directory anywhere you can install next and the disk size you can specify here by default I'm entering 60 gigabyte okay and select split virtual disk into multiple files okay and click next the customize your hardware and in this case I'm going to increase the RAM 4 GB go to the display settings this is auto dictate I'm going to select accelerate 3d graphics after the installation also you can select your display size and uh, graphics and now I'm going to choose the specified monitor setting crawl down to select 1920 1080 close then after customize your hardware I'm gonna click finish and click on the power on this virtual machine now the Windows is going to start loading files here you have to select the language by default I select the English and time and currency format English and the keyboard uh, input settings and selecting the US and click next and install and now the setup is going to start and the operating system I'm going to select data center evaluation desktop experience okay I'm gonna select the fourth one and click next and accept the terms and conditions and click next and customize the install uh, Windows Server operating system I'm going to select and by default I'm continuing this 60 gigabyte and click OK and next and now copying Microsoft files so wait until the installation complete and enter the password Yeah, finally the Windows Server machine is installed complete. Let's log in first. Yes, we have uh, successfully installed the VMware inside the Windows Server 2020-22. And I'm going to install the active directory users and computers uh, first 
I'm going to change the computer name. Let's open the file explorer. And right click this PC and properties and go to the advanced system settings and select computer name and change the computer name I'm going to enter the computer name master and the restart required let me restart first and I'm going to assign the IP address of the Windows Server machine and open the run command and type ncpa.cpl and right click click properties and assign the IP address 192.168.60.191 and default gateway I'm not setting up this is enough and click OK and click OK and now the second step I'm going to install the add roles and features I'm going to install the active directory services and click next and role based features based installation and next by default selected master computer name I'm going to select next and here you have to select active directory domain services and select these are the features going to by default select and click add features and uh, second DHCP server select add features again then select DNS server and continue all right then click next and click next and next and later if you want add your default gateway you can in my case I'm going to continuing like this and click next next and restart the destination server automatically if required okay, then select S yes and install and now the installation has been completed I'm gonna close this uh, after the installation you will get the the notification bar on the top side the next step we need to configure the domain you have to select the promote this server to a domain controller I'm going to click that and uh, I'm going to select add a new forest the brand new name I'm going to enter in my case I'm going to enter techglobe.local and click next and enter the on the top side you can see the functional level want to select from Windows Server 2008 to the 2016 the domain functional level if you want you can choose I'm going to live like this and enter the strong password okay click next and next again click next and this is your database folder located to the C drive Windows NTDS and the log file folder and sys volume folder okay by default the location I'm not going to change and click next and next and these are the selections you have done okay I'm going to click next install please wait until the installation complete now the installation has been completed the system going to restarting now you can see the domain name is visible here I'm gonna enter the credential after the installation let's open the uh, server manager and uh, open 
the tools section here you will see the active directory users and computers i'm going to open that this is the techlab.local domain name and these are the groups and uh, currently not joined any computer this is the domain controller and now we have uh, installed the microsoft windows server 2022 and creating the active directory users and computers if you like this video please consider subscription to my channel thank you for watching see you in the next video